All right, so in this problem, we are going to solve the system of equations using two methods, the elimination method and the substitution method. We are going to begin using the elimination method. And in this case, because we have this negative 9y and this, this negative 9y, we are going to cancel them out by subtracting the two equations by one another. So we're going to subtract the first equation by the second one, and it's going to look like this. We have 11x minus 9y minus our second equation, 4x minus 9y equals 19 minus 5. All right, so now let's distribute this negative into our parentheses, and we have 11x minus 9y minus 4x plus 9y equals 19 minus 15, which gives us 14. All right, now we're going to combine our like terms, and first of all, we are going to cancel out this negative 9 and positive 9, and we are now only left with 11x minus 4x, which simplifies to 7x equals 14. And now in order to find the value of x, we need to isolate it by dividing 7 on both sides, and we are left with x equals 14 divided by 7, which is 2. All right, so now that we have the value of x, we can find the value of y by choosing any of the expressions here and plugging the x value in to find the y. So let's plug it into our first expression. We have 11x, and instead of x, we are going to be writing 2 minus 9y equals 19. All right, so 11 times 2 gives us 22 minus 9y equals 19. So now we are going to get rid of this constant. In order to isolate the y, we're going to subtract 22 on both sides. And we are left with negative 9y on the left-hand side and 19 minus 22, which is negative 3 on the right-hand side. Now in order to completely sim um, isolate the y, we are going to divide negative 9 on both sides. And we have y equals negative 3 divided by negative 9, which gives us a positive 3 divided by 9, and if we simplify by dividing the numerator and denominator by 3, we get y to equal 1 third. So the value of x is going to be 2, and the value of y is going to be a third, but all of our answers are written in de decimal form, so we are going to convert this 1 third into 0 0.333, and that will be our final answer for the values of x and y, and that corresponds with answer A in our problem. So this was the method of, sub of elimination, and now we are going to solve using the substitution method. All right, so using the substitution method, we have to isolate one of the variables, x or y, and plug them into the other expression. So let's begin by isolating, using this first expression here, we are going to isolate the variable x. So we want to add this 9y to both sides, so we have 11x equals 19 plus 9y, and in order to isolate this x, we want to divide 11 on both sides. So we have x equals 19 plus 9y, all divided by 11. So this is the expression for x. Now we're going to take this value of x, and we're going to plug it into our second expression. So we have 4 times x, which is 19 plus 9y, divided by 11, minus 9y equals 5. So this is, now we have to distribute this 4 into our parentheses, and so we get 4 times 19, which gives us 76, plus 4 times 9y, which gives us 36y, and this is all divided by 11, minus 9y equals 5. Now, in order to not work with fractions, we are going to multiply this entire expression by 11 to get rid of the denominator. So we have... 76 plus 36y, because these 11s will cancel out. And then we have 11 times negative 9y, which gives us negative 99y, equals 11 times 5, which gives us positive 55. All right, so now we are going to combine our like terms. That means that we are going to subtract 76 on both sides. And we are left with 36 minus 99y on the left-hand side, which gives us a negative 63y equals 55 minus 76, which gives us a negative 21. All right, now to isolate this y, we are going to divide negative 63 on both sides. And we are left with, let's move this up here, y equals negative 21 divided by negative 63. Now, 
a negative and a negative become a positive. And we want to simplify this y divided, this 21 divided by 63. So we are going to divide both by 7 because they are equally divisible by this number. So we have y equals 21 divided by 7, which gives us 3. And 63 divided by 7, which gives us 9. Now we want to simplify this fraction by dividing the numerator and denominator by 3. And we get y to equal 1 third. All right, so now that we know that y equals 1 third, we can plug it into any of our first expressions, this one or this one, to find the x value. So let's plug it into our first expression, or you can also plug it into this value here. So if we do so, we have x equals 19 plus 9 times y, which is our 1 third, all divided by 11. So now we have x equals 19 plus 9 times 1 third gives us 3 all divided by 11. So in our numerator, we have 19 plus 3, which gives us 22. And in our denominator, we have 11. So we have 22 divided by 11, which gives us 2. So the value of x is going to be 2, and the value of y is going to be 1 third. And again, all of our answers are written in decimal form, so we are going to convert this 1 third into 0 0.333. And that's going to be our final answer for x and y in this problem, and that was using the substitution method.